So I was going to start out and do my layered flip cup, uh, dragged and then manipulated, which I've been doing the last few times with some very beautiful results. So I've layered my paint in my, I think it's about a seven ounce cup. Um, I have copper, I have blue, I have black, I have a gold. Uh, you know, it's sort of not looking all that interesting to begin with. Uh, so I am dabbing the little spots of splash paint that I had land on my white base coat. My white base coat is house paint. Uh, so I take a little shot glass that's layered and I flip and drag it. It's an interesting shape, but the white paint has sort of taken over the color. I do another uh, shot glass, but again, the white is sitting on top of my beautiful paints, which are copper, blue, black, and gold. So we try it one more time. Uh, another flip cup, and I'm gonna drag it. And I'm not really loving the composition here. I'm not loving, especially the the piece on the right. It's just dark. It hasn't got a lot of detail to it. So I'm going to tilt it, see if I can stretch it and make it a little more interesting. But so far, I'm not very happy with it. So I think I'm going to do one more little uh, flip cup with a shot glass. And so I flip it and I drag it. And again, you know, this just isn't working for me. So my original plan when I started this piece was to do the flip and drag on, say, three quarters of the canvas, and then maybe do a swipe down on a quarter of the canvas, which I could still do, but I'm, I'm not loving what is there. So I think right now I'm preparing some paint to uh, do a swipe across the bottom. Well, first I think, okay, let's drag my finger through uh, the, the paint. And I guess that's sort of what you would call the, um, it's a little bit like a flip and racket, but you can use your finger. I've done finger painting before. Uh, it adds a little bit more interest, a little bit of movement, but still not enough to make me happy. I continue tilting. No, it's just, it isn't, it isn't making me happy. So I am mixing up a little bit of paint to use for my swipe. I'm going to show you it's uh, one of the color shift paints and it's actually really pretty. It's blue purple. And I'm getting ready to swipe a portion of this painting. Um, so I add my swipe colors and We'll see how that works. Let's turn it around and see if it looks any better in the other direction. And, well, nope. I don't like it. I don't like that sort of monster guy up in the left, upper left corner. So I start adding the colors for a swipe. I'm hoping a swipe on the bottom of this painting will make the rest of it look more interesting. So I'm adding uh, a turquoise, my beloved copper, some black, a little more black, and I 
take a paper towel and I spray it with water and dampen it. And I start to swipe. Ugh, that does nothing for me. Actually, I think it's worse than it was before I did the swipe. So, okay, maybe if I throw a little more paint on there, the swipe will look better. So I add some more turquoise blue, some more black and more copper, and I swipe it again. No, I still don't like it. It just, it just doesn't do a thing for me. So now I'm going to do a swipe on the whole canvas. I find that, you know, if, if you keep trying things with a piece and you're still not happy with it, don't waste all the paint that's on the canvas. You can still maybe make something very interesting with a swipe. So that's going to be my next plan of attack. So now I add my color shift blue, some rose gold, uh, my favorite copper, and some black. And I'm preparing to swipe that whole top section. And I turn it around because I find it is easier to swipe towards me. I'm still not really loving this. It's rather busy for a swipe. So I happen to know that high flow golden works beautifully when you want to make something much more interesting. So I get my high flow pearl and I swipe this down across the previously swiped area. And I know a little bit of extra copper never hurts. Copper I think belongs in every painting and uh, adding a little more color to pull the pearl over. Now watch the magic of high flow pearl. I love it. Now we've got something interesting and I continue to swipe the rest of it. Uh, this is much more uh, interesting to me. I love the patterning that the pearl creates. It swipes completely different from other paints. No, 
know I do a little bit of tilting and I tilt you know in every direction it allows that pearl to stream down which makes it very interesting and now I'm going to go in with my palette knife and do my 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 schmear which I love I, it takes a swipe up a little bit more interesting uh, it, it just creates very graceful lines through the, the paints that to me sometimes when you go through a cell it resembles leaves or a heart but it just it just creates a little bit of a graceful flourish and then you don't have just all the straight lines and the the straight uh, areas of paint from your swipe. Just about finished a few more little swipes maybe a tilt or two and this one is done and actually I, I really like it oriented uh, flipped over not the way that you're looking at it now I've looked at it several ways and I really do like it the other way uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed Gail Burst and Life and Splatters